Blue Herring Bridge, one of my favorite places to dive. In these waters, you never know what you're going to see as Jeff and Dinah head out. It doesn't take long before we start seeing fish. One of my favorite spots is under the bridge itself. You always see plenty of aquatic life. Here you can see a guy grouper amongst some of the grunts, porkfish, and snapper. The spade fish is my favorite. This time they let me get pretty close to them. Perhaps Dinah was a mermaid in her past life, as she just seems to be right at home. Here I try to stay up with this stingray but it's a little too quick for me as it just scurries off and soon we come across a starfish and Dinah is hesitant to pick it up so I pick it up for her and hand it to her and she finds out that hey it's not harmful at all later she said she couldn't believe how hard it was it has a hard shell there she's poking at a sea cucumber. And where there's bait fish, you will always find a barracuda. Here, Jeff is showing Dinah a soft sponge piece of coral. And I go over to an old wreck, a boat that had sunk a while back, where I know I usually find some lobster, and I'm going to check it out. And lo and behold, I was right. A couple of nice sized lobster hiding down in the hull of this sunken boat. And off to the left here, you can see a decorator crab. Here, you'll see a little stone crab hidden away in a little crevice trying to stay out of sight. So as Jeff and Dinah head back out, there's still a lot to see under the bridge. A file fish hanging on one of the pillars, eating the coral. They say the crackling that you hear underwater around the coral is the sound of all the fish and crustaceans eating the coral.
here, a group of sheep heads went by. And so goes another beautiful dive at Blue Heron Bridge and time to walk back to our truck and make that long trip back home to the other side of the coast. So until next time, my friends, please stay safe and God bless.